Calico 8. Welcome to my sewing studio. This is Friday Sews. It's been a week. I have finished sewing probably about 15 of these, or not sewing, knitting, about 15 of these dishcloths for the um, veterans welcome home baskets. I am on my second scarf for Lizzie Brewer is going to collect scarves this winter for the homeless there in her area in Florida. And so I am working on that because I've not yet mastered the art of making hats. I have totally completed all these burp claws, plus four that are downstairs needing to be delivered to a friend that I made some for. Um, they're all sewn and clipped, ready for the um, DFS kits, the foster kits, that I sewed for last year. I have one blanket sewn, that's cute with the little butterflies, ready to be pressed and um, doing the top stitching. I have all of these toppers sewn and clipped and they're all, all ready to turn right side out and put press and put towels in them and finish. And then I'll just need to do buttonholes. I've got this blanket ready to sew around. It's just cut out. I have nothing finished on this. I've got a lot done now, haven't I? My husband has some honeydews. Why do they do that when they know you sew? He wants me to make, these are onion bags. And he read that we have an awful um, problem with flies here on the farm. So he wants me to make these into drawstring bags. And so all I really have to do is sew these under and put a drawstring through it doesn't that it sound exciting and so worthy but if it takes care of the flies supposedly they don't like Irish spring soap and so if you chip up the soap or maybe just put in the whole bar I'm not sure um, he read it just told me about it they won't come where that smell is so he thinks he's going to hang it on my door ways. Yeah, doesn't that sound kind of like the old fly strips? I think that'll be lovely decor as you walk into my house. I mean, granted, he'll do it outside and above the door. At this point in our marriage, I'm not gonna worry about it. Next Tuesday, we will have been married 37 years. So, you know, I, I can't tell him anything. And then after I get this all completed and the towels on these, they can be delivered to DFS. And then I've got this lovely box that I'm putting stuff in to take to Florida. And um, I am going to Nancy, don't get too excited, but I hope to get my sister's apron started uh, there's enough fabric for maybe both of us, but I'll make hers first. And then Selena with the more fabrics wants me to make her a couple of um, pillowcase dresses. Granted, they're not going to be out of a pillowcase. She's tiny enough that she would fit it. So I found on Pinterest an adult pillowcase dress pattern. 
and it doesn't look like it's going to be hard at all but then i found she wanted them just lightweight to wear like after she takes her shower in the evening um she could still answer the door or whatever but these would just be nice and cool to slip on now that the heat start to go away i'm i'm getting to it selena if you don't know who amor fabrics is i'm going to put her channel um, in my description below, she has a awesome Etsy website, and that's where a lot of people get their sari fabric, their um, kits, a lot of junk journal kits and stuff like that. So I have this peach I thought would be really pretty, and then I've got this yellow that I thought would be really pretty on her. And so I'm first going to make the pattern and make up the dresses, send them to her. She can let me know if I need to adjust anything. She's a wonderful seamstress. So if, you know, it needs him up more or something like that, she can even either do that or she can wait till I get to Florida or she can mail it back and I'll finish it then. So these are kind of on my radar for next week. The apron and the two little dresses um, to make next week but after I get these all done um, they're gonna get done first and when I'm done here I'm going to go to the next room and put them on the sewing machine the sewing machine lets me know what gets done first and then in the drawer for Sunday. Not these are my patterns. Are some towels that still need or this towel I guess still needs fabric for a topper. And then these there are I think seven six or seven. Um dresses for project dress a girl already cut out they're just ready to be pressed and ironed together and then I've got this fabric pull oh here's some more project oh there's another uh, project dress a girl um, and then these are to make tag toys. You know, the little toys where you put the ribbon around them and the little kids can have all the different sensory. I like to do them out of my scrap minky and scrap flannel. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that be a pretty little um, minky to put on the back of like this pink flannel or something? Um, I've got this flannel too I could use, but these are scraps from my um, burp cloths. And so these are all after I get my Project Dress -A Girl. Now Project Dress -A Girl, if you're interested, you need to go to Mari Sews and I'll put it down below because she gives you all the things that you need to do and where to send them and those kind of things. And September is the day that they really go for a push. Well, I'm hoping if next week I really bulldoze in and sew, I could have these done and then maybe mid-August, I could get busy on my Friday sews. Uh, not my Friday sews, my Project Dress -A Girl. That it's an international program where we make dresses for little girls that have never had a new dress. Once I get this all done, I will dive into pillowcases for the foster kids. I've not even pulled fabric for those. I've not looked at that until I get all this done. I've got plenty on my to-do list. It's nice knowing that I've got the burp claws and a blanket, well really two blankets, almost complete.
completed. The toppers will take no time at all, and they can be put on my back burner because they will go to Florida, so they're not really a push. Um, but I'd like just to get them completed so they're off of my radar. And then I will start on my Project Dress Girl. And having them all cut out, the, I've got the easy fun part left when you decorate them and put them together. So um, I'm not a bit worried about that. So that's my sewing. My life, things are going well this past weekend. Um, college girlfriend and her husband came and spent the weekend. They got here Saturday afternoon and left Sunday afternoon and we had a great visit. Um, they only live about two hours away, but it seems like it's just impossible sometimes to find time to go there or for them to come here. It will be easier now that they are, James is already retired and Rachel will the 15th of August. So hopefully we can find more time to retire. I mean, to visit now that all four of us are retired. Uh, things are going well, the kids are growing. We've got the fair over with. We've got a lot of big things that we were responsible or needed to put on our to-do list done. So we're not pushed on anything. The garden has pretty much um, gotten canned. The green beans we've canned. Greg finished up the corn, this freezing the corn this morning while I worked at the hospital gift shop. Um, he finished that this morning. We've got tomatoes that we've had five or six of them. Um, they've been so good. But we've got a lot more of those coming on. Green peppers have been coming on. And the kids are really looking forward to seeing the melons and the cantaloupe and all that come on. We've had a few zucchinis, not as many as Nikki and I would have eaten, but we're doing okay. So the garden has kind of slowed down. Um, a lot of the jobs the guys are working on have slowed down as well. The heat's still here. I don't get up here to the studio as long as I would like because in the morning, we've just got a window fan and it really sucks the air out. So, um, I mean the electricity, I can't talk, I'm sorry. And so I turn it on and it takes a while for it to cool down. Well, if I get in the middle of something else or fall asleep, I don't get up here. So once things start cooling down and I don't always have to wait for it to get cooled down so we can stand it up here, I can spend a little more time up here. And that's really slowed my sewing down because I haven't wanted to come up and work in the heat until it cools down. So I wait, well, by the time I wait, Emerson's here and she's wanting to do paper crafts or painting and that kind of stuff. Well, you know, paint and sewing don't go real well together. But all in all, things are going well. I'm Calico Kate, and as always, have a wonderful day and remember, you have a purpose. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.